Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new charge move in the world of Pokemon Go, Magma Storm on Heatran. Heatran is a fire and steel type Pokemon with the moveset of Fire Spin, the new move of Magma Storm, and Iron Head. Magma Storm is a fire type clone of the move Surf, so it does give Heatran a long awaited bait move. But the question remains to be seen with the bait move of Magma Storm, does this finally give Heatran masterly relevance? So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out some practice open Master League battles featuring Magma Storm Heatran. Hopping to the first match, picking up a Nightmare lead Heatran into Therian Landorus. I'm going to save switch into Kiram. My opponent will be able to outpace by a turn and make it to the Stone Edge. Stone Edge would hit for a ton of damage, so I will commit a shield and look to farm up. Opponent is now going to send in Lugia. I farm up to the Blizzard, but first I'm going to debuff them with Glaciate. Glaciate, of course, will also hit for super effective damage, but I want to lower the damage output from the Lugia so I can make it to the Blizzard and either win Switch or what I'm actually preferring is my opponent committing the shield. So I am able to make it to the Blizzard here. Is Lugia going to respect it? And they do. But honestly, this is best case scenario for me because now I am fully going to commit to the farm down with Heatran. Heatran already beats Lugia when it's non-debuffed due to the fact that it's going to be resisting Lugia's charge moves and on top of that, hitting for neutral in return. But now that they're debuffed, I'm going to fully commit to the farm down here and leave with 100 energy to threaten the Landorus. Landorus did leave pretty close to a superpower. When they bring in the Landorus, I'm actually going to be throwing back-to-back -back Magma Storms here on alignment. And I cannot wait to see this move animation. Magma Storm connects onto the Landorus, and that has got to be one of the coolest move animations in the game. Second Magma Storm will KO in the back. It's Giratina Origin. And and we have Dragonite to clean up this endgame. I tank whatever they throw here. Opponent is going to fire off the Ominous Wind. They are looking for the boost, but that is not going to happen. They make another charge move here. I can very safely shield and make the back-to-back -back Dragon Claws. Dragon Claw number one is going to be getting the shield, but we are just a couple Dragon Breaths away from Dragon Claw number two. This is going to be taking care of the Giratina Origin, and that's a good game. Picking up a positive lead in the next match, Heatran into Rayquaza. Considering I have two dragons in the back, I definitely don't mind catching the Rayquaza on the lead. I'm farming up, and I'm going to be going for the Iron Head. Iron Head will, of course, hit for neutral damage onto Rayquaza here. Iron Head will connect, and that gets Rayquaza pretty low. I'm going to let this go. I should resist both the Breaking Swipe and the Hurricane, but this opponent is running Ancient Power. I go for the Magma Storm, but I end up losing CMP. My opponent fires off the Breaking Swipe. That will debuff the Heatran, and debuffed and resisted, this Magma Storm is now not going to KO. I'm going to aggressively switch into the Kiram and snipe before the Dragon Tail registers, so I have a small energy head start. My opponent sends in Groudon, and this is incredibly good for me. With the energy head start, I outpace the Groudon and make the Glaciate before they make the Precipice Blades. Precipice Blades, even when debuffed one time, is still an incredibly powerful move, so I'm going to commit the shield here. The fact that they sent in Groudon into a matchup that is not favorable means my Kiram probably has decent play in the back. Glaciate is going to be shielded. My opponent is now double debuffed, and now that they're two stages lowered, I'm fine with letting the Precipice Blades through. We tank that fairly well. Opponent makes it to the Fire Punch, but again, this is double debuffed. This is not going to KO. I'm able to tank that damage. Opponent is going to send in their final Pokemon, and it is Mewtwo. I'm firing off the Glaciate. Glaciate will connect. In comes the Heatran. Low on HP, but able to withstand the resisted Psycho Cuts and make it to the Magma Storm. I commit the shield on the CMP tie, and now, with no shields remaining for the opponent, they get Magma Stormed. Magma Storm gets the Mewtwo low. We get the farm down. Back in comes Groudon, but Groudon is absolutely walled by Dragonite, and Dragonite secures the win. Speaking of Mewtwo, we see it on the lead in the next match. I'm going to immediately save switch into Kiram because if my opponent has a counter to Dragon types in the back, I need to bait it out. My opponent will fire off a Psy Strike. I'm going to commit a shield because Kiram wins against Mewtwo in the one and the two shield, but not the zeros. I'm going to fire off the Glaciate. Opponent will commit the shield. 
and now they're going to send in Kyogre, and I am incredibly happy to see Kyogre here. Kyogre means that I'm not going to have to have that aligned against the Heatran, and Heatran would get absolutely destroyed. As you can see, I am running a bit of an interesting moveset on the Kiram. I am not running Dragon Claw. I do really like running Blizzard, as Blizzard can potentially give you options to flip switch against something like a Dialga or a Zacian, whereas as you can see, even straight Glaciate, we can still handle Kyogre pretty nicely. Back in comes the Mewtwo. Mewtwo will fire off a charge move, denying me another Glaciate. Psy Strike will KO. I'm hoping that maybe they have something weak to Heatran in the back, so I'm gonna send in Dragonite. I'm gonna let this through. I know I'm going to be able to tank. It is going to be the Psy Strike. We'll have to see what they have in the back, and it's Groudon, and I have made a massive mistake. I have let my Dragonite get very low, and now Groudon is looking to sweep the endgame here. They easily have enough for the Fire Punch. I am firing off this Dragon Claw. Opponent commits the shield. I farm up here, switch into the Heatran, and catch what should hopefully be a Fire Punch. And it is. And with that catch, I believe we have just won the game. They can go for the Precipice Blades, but I have saved my shield for this moment. Precipice Blades would be double super effective, but Heatran shields it up and makes it to the Magma Storm. Magma Storm KOs the Groudon. We fire spin down the Mewtwo and get the win. Hopping into the next match, picking up a pretty decent matchup, Heatran into Zacian. In the one shield and the two shield, Heatran is able to win, although I don't play this particular matchup very well. I should have thrown the Iron Head much sooner. Even though they hadn't yet debuffed their defense, Iron Head does a lot of damage. Whereas here, I try and go for the Iron Head after they close combat, but of course, they can just switch out and catch onto Mewtwo. And now, I'm in a very difficult situation here. They're gonna go for the Psy Strike, I'm gonna no shield, and I'm gonna try and commit to the farm down. It's not worth it to throw my energy here, because if I KO the Mewtwo, then my opponent can just send in the Zacian, Zacian farms me down, and up that much energy, I just get swept by the Zacian, so instead, I'm fully sacrificing the Dragonite and all of its energy to instead get energy on Kiram. Back in comes the Zacian, they're firing off a close combat, and I will commit a shield. And now, I can start firing off Glaciates. I go for the Glaciate, my opponent makes a switch, and catches that onto Yveltal. But that does super effective damage to Yveltal. Yveltal farming up energy here, and I'm looking to potentially commit to the farm down and leave with a ton of energy. I commit the shield, it's the Focus Blast, and now I get the full farm down, leaving with so much energy to threaten the Zacian. We also have energy stored on the Heatran. Glaciate gets the shield. I'm going for Glaciate number two. Let's see, is my opponent going to shield this? Yes, they do. I'm continuing to farm, forcing them to throw energy, and then we have the Magma Storm on the Heatran. Close combat is double debuff. That's not gonna cut it. And we snipe with the Heatran. Magma Storm KOs the Zacian. And that's a good game. We see a negative lead in the next match. Heatran into Yveltal. I'm going to save switch into Kiram, as Kiram can do pretty well into the Yveltal if my opponent stays in here. And they are going to stay in, so I may as well go for the Glaciate. Glaciate gets the shield, and now I'm in a pretty nice spot. Even though they're debuffed, Focus Blast just hits like a ton of bricks, so I will respect it with a shield. My opponent is now going to send in Excadrill, and this is where having the surprise nuke of Blizzard can come in handy. They're going to fire off the Rock Slide. That's going to get me low. I'm going to farm up until just before they make the next Rock Slide, and I'm full sending the Blizzard here. Do they respect the damage? They do! Opponent shields, and now I'm in trouble. My opponent... Thinks about going for the farm down, decides against it at the last second. They were worried about a potential Glaciate. I'm going to send in the Heatran, and I have to shield the Drill Run. That's double super effective damage. And now can I make it to the Magma Storm? Thankfully, having a bait move coming in clutch for the Heatran, able to outpace the Exca, and Magma Storm KOs the Exca. My opponent can send back in Yveltal here, but they do not. They send in Zacian. Zacian farms up energy. In comes Yveltal. I continue to farm. This is not a Focus Blast. I was fully prepared to catch the Focus Blast, but my opponent actually makes a really nice play. They end up going for the Dark Pulse, and now they got damage on me. I'm gonna send in the Dragonite, but I'm now in a very uncomfortable position. They are firing off a Focus Blast there, and I think that's just because they know that they have this game won. As Zacian can just double up on charge moves, because the unfortunate thing is I have so much energy on my Heatran, but Heatran loses CMP to the Zacian. So all Zacian has to do is double up on charge moves. This will be the Wild Charge, KOing the Dragonite. I go for the Iron Head, but Zacian with a beastly attack stat, KOs the Heatran. 
and that's game over. Picking up a great lead in the next match, Heatran into Dialga. Opponent is going to save switch into Giratina Origin, and I'm going to respond with my Dragonite. They make it to a potential Shadow Ball, but I am able to survive this. Shadow Ball will connect, and I'm looking to over farm as much as I possibly can. I go for the Dragon Claw just before they make it to the Ominous Wind here. Dragon Claw into the Giratina will be shielded. My opponent potentially looking to make a play for Switch. I'm going to shield up myself, and I'm going to be firing off the Dragon Claw just before I get KO'd. My opponent can shield and take switch if they want to, but I'm going to leave with shield advantage. My opponent decides not to let that happen. Instead, they're going to get farm on Mewtwo, and honestly, this is perfect for me. I can just send in Kiram, use Kiram as a damage sponge for the energy from the Mewtwo, and I have Heatran to crush Dialga in the endgame. Psy Strike connects, and I'm going to fire off the Glaciate here just to get chip damage onto the Mewtwo. Glaciate will be shielded. They're firing off the Psy Strike, and I'm perfectly fine with letting this go. And now it is Heatran's time to shine. In comes Heatran. Heatran farming up energy. In comes Dialga, and Dialga is not going to appreciate the Magma Storms here. Magma Storm number one connects onto the Dialga. I continue to farm, and I make it to Magma Storm number two. I'm looking to farm down and leave with a Magma Storm loaded to get rid of the Mewtwo. And honestly, I haven't had a Heatran before, so for science, I'm going to no-shield the Draco. Draco does not KO Heatran, absolute unit of a Pokemon. Magma Storm takes out the Mewtwo, and that's a good game. We see a familiar lead in the next match, Heatran into Zacian. I didn't love how I played this lead out last time, so I'm going to try something different. I'm just going to go straight for the Iron Head, not trying to wait until they go for the close combat. And Iron Head does a lot of damage to Zacian. Zacian is going to return fire with the close combat. I do survive this, but I want to try and preserve HP. I'm going to farm up with the Heat Transcend in the Dragonite, looking for the Dragon Breath farm down. But my opponent is able to save the Zacian with a sliver of HP and send in Dialga. I bait with the Dragon Claw. Opponent reads me like a book, and they no shield. They'll fire off the Iron Head before I make it to my second Dragon Claw. Very nice counting there by my opponent. That will KO. I can send in Heatran. Heatran looking to overfarm and go for the Magma Storm. I'm going to be able to get rid of the Dialga, but the uncomfortable thing is that that Zacian has a close combat loaded, and I've taken enough damage that that will actually KO. So, I decide to do a bit of a risky play. I'm going down both shields here. In the back, there's Yveltal. Aggressive switch into the Kiram. Can we outpace? Yes, we can. Kiram barely able to outpace Yveltal and get to the Glaciate. My hope is that after I've lowered their attack, I'm now going to be able to tank a Focus Blast. That's the win con. Focus Blast still KO is the Kiram, and this is going to be game over. I make it to the back-to-back -back Magma Storms. I win CMP over the Yveltal, but unfortunately, they have the Focus Blast here. I cannot get to my second loaded Magma Storm. Focus Blast KOs the Heatran, and that's game over. Hopping into the final match, we've got a battle of spice, Heatran versus Nihiligo. Nihiligo, of course, can hit for neutral damage with Rock Slide, whereas their poison jabs are heavily resisted. And I have a bit of a similar story here where my fire spins are going to be resisted, but I can hit for super effective damage with the Iron Head. I'm going to no shield the first Rock Slide here. Rock Slide will connect, and that does deal some pretty solid damage to the Heatran. Heatran, farm it up. I do decide to respect this with a shield, and I am going to be going straight for the Iron Head. Iron Head, I don't think is going to be enough to KO, but it should do a serious dent to Nihiligo's HP. I'm looking to farm up a little bit more. My opponent will be able to make it to another Rock Slide, and you know what? I'm featuring Heatran, I may as well double shield it. I'm going to send in Kiram, look for the snipe, opponent is going to preserve that Pokemon with a very low HP, and they're going to send in their own Kiram. I go for the Glaciate, opponent is going to no shield here, and they're going to fire off their own charge move. Dragon Claw would hit for super effective damage, but they opt for the Glaciate debuff. I'm now debuffed, but I get the farm down, I'm very close to a move. The question is, can I withstand the fast moves? I cannot. Nihiligo gets the KO, but I get to return the favor in the back. It's a Landorus, and Landorus, I should be in an okay spot here because Stone Edge does not one-shot Dragonite. I fire off the Dragon Claw. That does get shielded, but first, let's make it a little fun. Let's get the catch onto Heatran. Opponent is going to seriously undercharge the Stone Edge, and now they're going to try and mud shot down to win. I'm going for the Iron Head. It hits harder. Iron Head connects. Heatran farms down the Landorus, and that's a good game.
And now some final thoughts on Magma Storm and its Master League viability on Heatran. First off, I do think Magma Storm is a definite plus for Heatran. Heatran has Fire Spin as the fast move, a fairly mediocre fast move, so getting to charge moves faster, having the cheaper charge move of Magma Storm is a definite plus. I will say, however, despite the fact that Heatran does very well into both Zacian and Dialga, it still doesn't break into the Master League meta. I would say it can be used as some pretty competent anti-meta, but you definitely want to build a strong team around it, but the Master League meta as a whole seems fairly unchanged even with the addition of Magma Storm to Heatran. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.